It's just been, when I think about it, 40 years of them, and they have more from looking one way and more comical at another way. And some of them have a little narrative that I think of before I put them on, and others just sort of I make it up after the fact. Trying to, in the end, make those pieces look like they were soft at one time. I mean, people did ask, you know, I think I said that to, you know, people that said, it looks like your pots have already been run over, you know? <laughs> so uh, I don't object to that. I kind of like that idea that they have that softness about them, not this hard edge. And that's not, and my, I think it's my personality, it's my being that I physically appreciate that or want that to come through. A lot of students have never seen some work with the clay or handle it and a free man are like picking up the plates. Everybody always, I don't know if they did it here, but they always <gasps> gasp. You can do that? Yeah. It's just so, uh, and how I approach the painting part of it, more like a painter with a palette rather than working out of the jars. This says, uh, let them think that there aren't all these rules about it. Uh, that it has to be this way and this way. So I'm just trying to think about how to, how to give them some license to break the rules. And then what I get out of it, oftentimes, somebody asks me to do a form or whatever, which I'm quite unfamiliar with, or I play around with it and something else happens, that it might jog my idea to make that when I get back into the studio. Because I'm, I'm not as tied to the, just making the pots at home exploring a little bit differently. So I do get that out of it too.